Well, one huge bonus, as you mentioned, that Mitchell Trubisky has is he has this great offensive line to lean on, which could be one of the better ones in the league um, and a solid run game to to boot, to go with all that. And, you know, it feels really good to not have to beat the drum for Jordan Howard oh, like, like we had been. And we'll, we'll get to that in a second. I want to give this offensive line uh, its due here for a second and just say that this this group of Hevs up front, <laughs> is is just so solid and they they worked on improving it um even further they they spent i think a top 35 or 40 draft pick on a center james daniels from iowa who's one of the better centers in the game um right now they have uh cody whitehair holding it down to that position um so when you said that he, they had that bad uh the Mitchell Trubisky had that fumble in the end zone. A lot of people were putting that on Whitehair because he has had a, a little bit of an issue with snaps, and he's not a natural center. He made that uh, switch for them, and he's been playing really well uh, with the exception of some some snapping issues here and there. I think Daniels has been a little nicked, the, the rookie from Iowa, um, so they've been a little hesitant, and they're just trying to get him ramped up. So a lot of people in 39th overall, a pick. lot of thank you. A lot of people are that are in that circle are saying that, you know, if, if, if you want to get Daniels involved this year, now's the time to get him integrated into this system and let uh, white hair slide over to left guard, which is where the only spot in this entire line where they have any sort of a hole, which uh, Cush, if you remember uh, the Jeff Fisher hard knocks was was one of was the center for the Rams that year. Right now he's filling in at left guard, which isn't a terrible option for you, but he's certainly wouldn't be a white hair if white hair could slide over there. And they were thinking about maybe putting James Daniels in that situation. But the rest of this group is super solid from uh, Leno to uh, Long, uh, Massey. This is a really solid group from left to right, front to back. And if they could get the center, if they could get Daniels in there and get the left guard situated with white white hair sliding back over there, uh, this is this is a group that the the ceiling is or the roof is the ceiling or however Michael Jordan said that right. ceiling is the roof, <laughs> which spells which, which spells really really good things for your fantasy team if it's built with a couple bears, right? Because it, the we've seen it in a couple even re- very very recently with the Giants and the Bengals last year when your offensive line is trash and and the Vikings two years ago it, when when your offensive line is trash your whole game you can't do anything you're getting blown up. And so now your Bears have had a really solid offensive line for a couple of years and a 1970 playbook and Jordan Howard been right. r- running solid behind those guys. And now you got the offense with improvements. And it's, and what you're just telling me there is that maybe the offensive line's even getting better. And the 39th overall pick is solid capital will throw on a center. Oh, and, I, and I'm Ace, a big he's fan. He's a Hawkeye. And I'm he's, a fan. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Iowa's right. putting out good offensive line. Solid center. I'm a big fan of strength on a strength. If you, you know, put, go ahead and throw another offensive line. If you got a good offensive line, throw another one at it, you know? Yeah, and they, and they let uh, Sutton or Sitton. Sitton. Uh, Sitton. They let Sitton ride out. And everyone was wondering why. And he'd, he'd been a little up and down, but th- they've they've since kind of mended that fence with all these moves that they've made. I um, mean, I believe Cush was on the team. Well, Sitton got paid too. Yeah. You know, like you can't. You, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You, if you pay everybody on the offensive line like Dallas does, right. then you don't get to go get any fun stuff like Allen Robinson but, and Trey Burton. You know, like you said, they are in that window of being able to pay a bunch. They went and got a bunch of offensive players, and then the the best thing you got going for you is that you retain Vic Fangio. I haven't dropped name dropped him in a while, but Fangio <laughs> deserves so much credit. This defense should be really good. Uh, they were good a year ago with, with no love and nobody thinking that they were going to be good. And if Fangio is running your defense and you got the pieces that, that the uh, bears have, and you got a great offensive line and a good run game, which is what Jordan Howard is providing for you. I mean, Mitchell shouldn't have to, again, force anything or press anything down the field. Um, You can lean on things like your run game and and an Allen Robinson who has some size and a schemed up tight end situation like a Burton. Um, So I I just think that this 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 group of halves up front can can really benefit Mitchell Trubisky. And then again, like the Jordan Howard to not have to beat the drum of like we were at. We seemed like we were the number one fans in the Jordan Howard uh, fan club for so long right. and it really wasn't the case it was right. just the disrespect for this man yeah. and this offensive line to boot the offensive line is awesome and this guy this is a throwback running back that nobody wants to get in front of Mm-mm. all he's done is is had 1300 yards 1200 or 1100 yards six touchdowns nine touchdowns in two seasons and been 
just what? basically virtually unstoppable if you give him the rock. And, and that's what we were, all he did is right, uh, pick up where he left off in the preseason. He looks great. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about last year when he was getting such disrespected. We were like, well, what is the defense? Imagine if there's any sort of a passing game what that scares the, you. Yeah, what is the defense out there doing other than trying to stop Jordan Howard? Right. They got nothing to worry about. I mean, Jordan Howard's ADP has definitely been creeping up here. You, you could almost get him in the fourth round for a little while. Now he's up into the third. Which I still don't hate that. I mean, he just he's so he's so poised out there. He's po- he's poised to carry this team, right? And I don't I don't think Cohen's going to come in and take snaps no necessarily way. in a run game situation. I'm sure Cohen will get a decent amount of hand handoffs, but uh, Howard's going to be your 250 plus yeah. running back here on this team. He's just and he's going to do what he does when he does it. Right. Like he's <laughs> he's going to be scoring touchdowns. This line's awesome. And then by the way, he hasn't had a passing game the entire time he's been there. Right. right. So throw that into him. all of that. Where his, are you going to stop? His body's built to be a workhorse. He can carry your team. He he gets what's blocked. He can create on his own. He's got vision and decisiveness. He shows you some patience at times. It's just all 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 around attributes. He's just not running rod, routes out of the slot or anything, but I mean, right. he can catch. He'll get you one or two catches a game. He's he's had 50 targets plus in, right. in his career and and or year to year and caught 20 ish balls both. Listen, if I can get a workhorse back that's getting 250, 276, getting 1000 yards, 6 to to 11 touchdowns and I could throw 30 30 more receptions on right. top of that. I'm that's fine. Yeah, with but me. the thing is if he gets 276 carries he's going to get a lot more than 1000 yards. His rushing lanes or running lanes are about to get a lot bigger. Right. Right. He's going to get fed the ball. Like taking Jordan Howard is is not messing it up. You're exactly. not striking out exactly. by taking Jordan Howard. He's going to get all the goal line carries. Scoring opportunities should go up with this offensive improvement and John Fox the hell out of there. I mean, you look at his game log last year, it wasn't the best from from week to week as far as consistency goes, but he still averaged 12 and a half points and he was the only thing that that had team going that that team had going for them. So I and and I know that the naysayers will come out and they'll attribute any success that Jordan Howard had to to the fact that John Fox would run the ball and they're negative great script. Right. But I mean, Give this guy a positive game script Please. with a decent yeah. team and see what he could do. With the yeah. defense, it'll keep the game close and an offensive line that can sustain drives. Like This is going to be consistent production for you with Jordan Howard. And I'm, with I'm a in. huge I'm, TD upside. Right. Huge TDs. I love huge TDs. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't?